So, hi everyone! I'm still alive. I'm sorry for not uploading many videos lately because I've just been so busy with my professional LEGO builds. But uh, I managed to take time to show you around this model. Now this amphibious uh, vehicle was designed originally for the Buvis uh, camp. Unfortunately, the amphibious uh, competition was removed due to time constraints. But of course, I built the model already, so why not uh, take some time and uh, show you around and I can tell you how it works, what's the idea behind it and all the things that still need to be improved. Basically, the first idea behind it is using this uh, house for uh, giving the mod the flotation it needs. Uh, these holes are also very useful because they have a hole going through them and this hole is actually used to drive the wheels so the driving axle actually goes through the through the hull. Uh, they are also very uh, useful because they have uh, Technic mounting points and as you can see here they are mounted here directly onto the wheels. Now the design of the model is made to be as simple as possible. I am using articulated steering which also uh, double acts as a rudder once the model is in the water. Uh, the model also features all-wheel drive, which is powered by two Bubis motors, which are powering the rear axle and the front axle, uh, and you can see the universal joint here for the steering. The rear uh, wheel drive also drives the, the screw here, which is uh, designed to basically propel the vehicle once in the water, and the screw is uh, uh, on this pivot point, which can be lowered or raised when you're outside the water. So, when you drive your vehicle into the water, you simply lower the screw and then the screw propels the vehicle forward. Uh, besides having all-wheel drive, the front axle is also pivoted on a small turntable which allows the model to go over terrain without losing, uh, without losing uh, contact with the ground basically. So while this sounds all nice and dandy in theory, I have a few test uh, video footage uh, from the lake. Now remember this is just test footage, this is not yet a completed video footage so uh, I'm sorry for the <laughs> bad camera angles. <laughs> Okay, so there are bubbles coming out from the tips which means that there is water leaking inside from the tips and of course the water is also leaking from the back so this is pretty much getting filled up with water so yes it's all filled up with water and it's leaking in front and in the back so yeah this is kind of useless it was a good try but nope so as you can see from the test footage the model does technically work but the problem lies with the hulls the hulls are taking in water because they were originally designed to be used in this orientation 
I'm using them in sideways orientation which exposes them to the water more and even though I plugged the holes the water is simply still getting in. So one way to solve this would be I could um, basically use insulation tape to cover the gaps where the two halves of the hull meet or I could uh, maybe use them they were, as they were meant to be used so basically turn them 90 degrees so they are in the correct orientation. Another issue with this model is with the steering. Uh, the problem with the steering is, uh, besides the cables getting everywhere, <laughs> is that the motor used for the steering is very sensitive. So once you reach the limit, it simply overheats. So uh, this is uh, quite an easy fix actually. I would just have to increase the gearing ratio and uh, that should be able to fix this issue, although the steering system will be much slower that way and yes so this is by far uh, a perfect complete model um, it's a prototype it still needs a lot of fixing and hopefully I will manage to find some time and improve it and then I can make a follow-up video with the completed functional version of the amphibious vehicle uh, thank you everyone for watching and I wish you all a good day. Bye bye!